Today I want to talk to you about re-ranking. So you should always treat your retrieval augmented generation problems as a search problem. What that means is you can use tools from search and one of the best tools you can use is re-ranking. A rack system or retrieval augmented generation system looks something like this. Uh, you have the user sending a query to an application and then the application send that query in the form of vectors to a vector database like Pinecone, Wii V8, or a PG vector. But large language models don't have infinite context. And we have this thing where we want to increase recall, which means if there are 20 or 30 or 40 accurate documents in my vector database, I want to be able to retrieve as many of those as possible, which means a lot of times in real world scenarios, you're going to have to be over retrieving um, to get more than you need in order to get that recall number up. So in that case, we rely on the large language model to make sense of both the relevant information and the irrelevant information. So how can we help the LM make a more accurate final generation of the answer? So that's where real ranker comes in. And let me just show you a quick explanation of what that means. Um, here, I have a search query about uh, Sabrina Carpenter's uh, song and I want to look for a very specific song which is about coffee but here what happened is we over retrieve so we got four songs here but just from looking at this you know that the song at the bottom espresso is the one that we want right because it's about coffee however it's at the bottom and if we were to send this to our super 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 small LM it will look at all four of these songs and you know kind of like maybe hallucinate uh, a little bit because it doesn't know which one is actually the one that we want. So with the re-ranker in, 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 in play, uh, what's going to happen is it puts the, the most relevant content at the top while kind of like reducing the rank or the position of the, of the content that are not as relevant. The way that re-rankers work, especially for the more modern ones like um, the one from Cohere or uh, from Gina AI, is that it actually uses LLM to understand the context of the documents of the trunks that comes back and then rank them uh, accordingly. If you want to look more into what these re-rankers do, um, so Cohere is a great uh, provider for a service for re-ranking that you can use uh, for your application. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example of using Cohere re-ranking with my existing uh, RAC application. And we're just going to treat the rag part as a black box right now. And after I show you this, I'm going to show you a better way to do it, where I don't even have to set up Cohere re-ranking or any re-ranking service at all in my application, because I'm going to be using a service that provides both retrieval and re-ranking in one place. So what's going to happen is um, I send in a, a, a question that says, uh, what is Jeff Bezos' uh, leadership philosophy. So my knowledge base is basically um, I've web scraped or crawled through this website called Founders Tribune and um, it has a bunch of like articles about like you know startups and founders and stuff like that. Anyone from like Steve Jobs to like Jeff Bezos and I'm asking specifically about Jeff Bezos. So my retrieval system retrieved 10 documents and then after that it takes those documents and it re-ranked them and then after re-ranking is done, it's going to take the top five with the highest relevancy scores because these re-ranking services gives you a score. And then it's going to pass those documents. Actually, it's going to conc concatenate all those documents content into one big string and then pass that into our an LM. In, in this case, it's a Llama 3.1 8 billion uh, parameters in Struct Turbo from uh, Together AI. And then finally, we get a... Uh, kind of final generation from the LM, which is, you know, takes into account the documents that were sent back and stuff like that. So very simple, and you can do, do this in, in your application really easily. So let me show you what it looks like uh, in the code. So here, when you go to this code base, you want to check out the, the manual way to do this. Um, just go to manual reranking.py. And then in here, let me just scroll to the bottom here. This is where like the main execution uh, flow is so here's my user query and then here is my um, the function that uh, runs the retrieval part and the re-ranking part 
and then after we get that response from uh, our re-ranking we're going to pass that to our model so that's right here query model and then finally we get this like nice object that says a question result that has the not only the, the original question but also like the re-ranked documents and then the response from the model and then we're just going to print that out um, into the terminal the nice kind of emoji flooded uh, terminal display here. I love these things. Um, but the most important part here is we, let's take a look at how the relationship between like retrieving documents or retrieving chunks and re-ranking re looks like in, in code. So to do that you go to the uh, same file, you go to, to like the process question function and then as you can see there are about one, two, three, four, five steps to get through it from retrieving documents to having like the documents ready to then pipe to a large language model. So first step obviously is to retrieve documents. This is just taking the query and then sending it to the um, vector database. We're not gonna go into that today. Um, step two is because Cohere re-ranking um, kind of requires you to have a certain type of uh, format that goes in and then it, when it comes out the other side it also has a certain type of format so a little bit of complexity for you there so you have to like transform your, doc your information a little bit while you're using uh, this, this service or this tool so we retrieve the documents uh, and then we're gonna extract two, two separate lists so the first list is the documents text so the content of the documents or the contents of the chunks. When we say documents and chunks, it's literally the same thing. Whatever that comes out of the retrieval or the vector database. And we also have document IDs, and we're going to rely on the document ID to be able to, after re-ranking, know, OK, so which one is actually on top? Uh, which one is, because the, after re-ranking, like, things are sh shuffled. So we have to rely on the ID of the chunk of the document to know, OK, the chunk that was like at the bottom before is now at the top. Um, so we can rely on that. And then finally, we can uh, pass it into our, our re-ranker using this dot re-rank function, which comes with Cohere. Um, and we pass in the, the user's question. That's one cool thing about re-ranker, which is it actually takes into account the question and then see what which document or which chunk is most relevant to the to the question. And then we pass in the document's text and then the document's IDs. And keep in mind, because I've created these lists, um, like the order of the, the text content of the chunks and the order of the ID match. That's why I know that, okay, I don't have to worry about, okay, it's like which ID belongs to which document. And then we're going to specify top five here, so we only get the top five um, most relevant uh, chunks or documents. Even though in our retrieval system, we're taking back uh, 10 because we're over retrieving to get that recall up so that our re-ranking system have more, has more documents or chunks to work with. Um, and I can increase that number to like you know, 50 or something. And then finally, we, can, like I said, concatenate all the content of the documents into one big string. And then we're going to build a prompt. Let me show you the prompt real quick before we send it to our um, LLM. So it just says, based on the following information from about Jeff Bezos, please answer this question. So we pass in the original question in the prompt, which is just a string. And then we just you know, stuff the context, which is all the content from um, the uh, documents that are sent back from our re-ranker. So it's five instead of 10. And the most relevant document will be at the top. So it'll be like, the first one will be like the most relevant one. Cool. So. A little bit of code, a um, little bit of complexity, and uh, let me show you uh, what it looks like to create the re-ranker. So, Cohere's documentation is pretty straightforward. You just sign up for an account, and then you go and you get an API key. You set up, I have a, a re-rank method. So, so in here, uh, you want to set your uh, re-ranking model to something like this. So, there are many different models. And once in a while, there's a new one that comes out. And this is the reason why when you're building an application with like so many providers, so many like different moving pieces to it, you kind of forget that, oh, there's a better model out there that I should try. Um, so you, it might be, it might make more sense in your case to use a service that kind of like just bake in the best practices and like the latest and greatest for you that have been 
battle test it with other users. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of transformation here because, like I said, the documents coming in and documents coming out, it, the shape looks a bit different from like the original documents that are retrieved from your vector database. So lots of uh, transformation code. And feel free to take this code and build your own. But I'm going to show you uh, arguably a better way to do it, which means, and I don't like to think about the, the complexity of these things too much because they don't make or break the application and the product that I'm building. Re-ranking is just part of it and less complexity feels better for me. So here I'm going to show you how to do it with my retrieval system, which I've been using this whole time, which is a, a rack pipeline on the service called Vectorize. Very similar setup. So you still have the user send in a query. The query hits your application, and the application talks to a service called Vectorize. And this service kind of like hide away all the vector database complexities and re-ranking complexities, and you just communicate directly with, with just the service. Um, so let me show you how it looks. So here we have another script called uh, built-in re-ranking. And our, it looks very similar to what we had before. Um, we have one step, two step, three steps instead of five. So that's already way less complexity. And to retrieve the documents, uh, because this function wraps around the service called vectorize, we can set a parameter called re-rank to true which means that I don't have to transform anything. I don't have to pass these documents to another service. When I retrieve documents, I know that they are re-ranked for me. And then still the same, same deal, you know, everything like that. So let's take a look at what's inside of this function here. So again, it's so still the same function that I use for my um, manual re-ranking. But instead of re-ranking being false here, I set it to true so that I can skip the step that I had to set up my Cohere re-ranker. So Vectorize is free to try. And this is what my uh, retrieval system looks like. Um, what I did was I set up a crawl job to uh, go to the website here, um, this page right here, and just scrape every single article from this website. And when you go to Vectorize, you have this really nice dashboard, and I was able to set this up on the GUI here, and then connect to it with my um, Python script using um, the retrieval endpoint. So that's the cool thing about Vectorize, which is you have your retrieval system, you have your vector database set up, you can crawl a website or any data source you have, and then you have this one URL that you can hit, and then more importantly, this is all you have to do to have re-ranking set up with Vectorize. So you skip all the complexities of setting up and managing like a separate service like Cohere. And your application, all it knows is I have a retrieval system and I know that content from that retrieval system has been retrieved well and ranked properly. So I have both recall and precision. So that's it for the video today. Um, go, so go out and try re-ranking your retrieval system and I'm sure it's gonna increase your precision for whatever that you're, you're retrieving. And your large language model is gonna love you for that. So thanks for watching.